Hi guys! Welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. I hope you're ready. It's a good one. I hope you've all had a good week, that you've been having lots of fun, and that you're staying out of trouble. Anyway, well, welcome to this week's Sunday School. I'm Samuel. Can I be honest about something? Sometimes when you read the Bible, it is hard to understand. If you are feeling weird about something or you wonder about different parts of the story, that's completely okay. Sometimes good characters do things that can make you upset. The Bible is about people's lives and there are no perfect people. The awesome thing is that even in hard stories, there's something for us to learn. In our story for today, David and Nabal are in a conflict. David is angry because Nabal was really mean to some of the people who worked for David. And David's anger almost makes the problem worse. He plans to go to Nabal and fight back for what he has done to him. But instead of more fighting, there was peace. How did that happen? Well, Abigail, Nabal's wife, goes to David and gives him a peace offering. A peace offering is a gift to make things get better. She knows what her husband did was wrong, and she knows that there's a better way to fix the problem. She is brave. You see, Abigail wasn't the leader. She didn't have power or the position to talk to David, but she decided that peace was worth the risk. Abigail's bravery to be a peacemaker reminds me that we can all be peacemakers. David was really angry when Abigail came to see him. She could have walked away, but she chose to make peace. Her offering calmed David down, and he didn't act out of anger anymore. Abigail made a huge difference. Abigail makes me want to be brave too. This story shows me that leadership and being a peacemaker is about being brave and doing the right thing, no matter who you are. Whenever I am helping kids out at school, being nice to my sibling, or even offering something to a friend, I can be a peacemaker in tough situations. Friends, creating a peaceful world can seem really hard with everything going on around us. Abigail shows us that each of us can do something. If we can just take it one situation at a time, we can all be peacemakers. Now it's your turn to wonder. This week's Sunday School story is about David and Abigail. And it's from 1 Samuel chapter 25, verses 1 through 42. And it goes, David was traveling when the men who were with him became very hungry. There was a rich man named Nabal who lived nearby. So David asked him if he would share his food with the men. Nabal refused. I hope that's how you say his name which made David very angry. David decided to take his men and fight Nabal. Nabal's wife, Abigail, heard that David was very angry and planned to fight her husband, Nabal. Abigail decided to share food with David. She, Abigail loaded donkeys with foods of all kinds and met David. She asked David not to fight and gave him all the food she had. Abigail's actions made peace. She was a peacemaker. What do you think might have happened had Abigail not taken food to David and his men? Her husband could have been seriously hurt. Or even worse, you know, things could have happened to their property. You know, I mean, well, I can't even say that's worse, but that, you know, there was a lot of things that could have happened. But, you know, it's a good thing she thought ahead and she made peace. All right, we're going to talk a little bit more about our lesson. Our faith word this month is peace. 
living together in harmony without fighting, to be calm and know God's presence. Okay. So, what does peace look like to you? We've kind of been talking about that. Peace for me is just calm, quiet, not a lot going on. Just to me, that's peaceful. When you think of the word peace, what image comes to mind? Hmm. Sometimes it's kind of hard. What would I think of? Oh, I know. Maybe like a lake and it's really calm and there's no boats on it. And maybe a couple of ducks, but they're really quiet. That would be kind of peaceful. That's, that would be something peaceful to me. Okay. How do you respond if you're in an argument or a conflict or a fight? Some people get really mad. Some people get really scared. And some people, you know, they'll get really, really quiet because they don't like that at all. And that that is very hard for them. So there's no right or wrong, but a lot of people do different things during conflicts. When you have when have you given something to someone to make peace? I think we probably all have. Sometimes a batch of cookies can make a world of difference. And sometimes it's nice to say, you know, and even like an I'm sorry. I'm sorry we had a fight. And you make peace. You know, that, that would be a good way to do that. You know, and I have kind of made cookies. But I'm a grandma. I always make cookies. So anyway. So those are some things to think about. So when you're when there is a conflict and you need to make peace, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Sometimes you could make something. Sometimes you could send a card. Sometimes you could make a card. Sometimes you could just say, I'm sorry, or I don't want us to fight. Here, let's figure this out. There's all kinds of ways to do that. So, you know, and, and God gives us the opportunity to always fix it. Now it's time to say a little prayer. So, bow your heads, put your hands together. Dear God, thank you for letting us be peacemakers. Help show us the way and do your will. Keep us strong, healthy, and safe. Amen. All right. That's this week's Sunday School. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. I will probably see you next week. Have a good week. Stay out of trouble. Pray for each other. And I'm going to pray for you. Bye.